up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with another video. So today I am reviewing Ford v Ferrari. So Ford v Ferrari was a movie you know, I wanted to watch to be honest. I'm not a big car person but my mate James, he's into cars and whatnot. So I was like, I'll go watch the movie, he'll enjoy it. And if it's a good movie, I'll enjoy it as well. And it was a good movie. For a person who doesn't really know much about cars, all the races and everything, I was invested with the characters and what they were doing. So what happens in the movie is that it follows Christian Bale and Matt Damon as they try to turn Ford into a racing um, company, uh, whatever, motor sports enthusiast or whatever. I don't know what the correct terminology is, but essentially they made the first Ford car, the Ford um, GT40. Um, into, well, for racing essentially, and it's a really cool movie, really well shot and really well paced. Um, it's a long movie, but it didn't really feel that long. It didn't feel like it dragged on and on. I don't think the cinematography is as good as Rush, which is obviously the one I'm going to compare it to because it's a, the only other um, racing film I can think of off the top of my head, and it's not up there off the top of my head I can't remember I haven't seen Rush in a few years but it's still pretty good the soundtrack is really nice and the character beats are great when you're seeing the race and the door doesn't close I'm like oh my god what's gonna happen is he gonna like bust the door open or is it gonna when they slam it shut is he gonna be stuck inside and that's what the boy was asking the other man about and was that just a setup for this I don't know how accurate this movie is whether or not it's um, properly paying homage to the story that was told or if it was um, really um, changing itself, changing the characters and the setting and whatnot to better suit um, the people that it's portraying. But nonetheless, the movie is entertaining. Like I said, the pacing is great, the acting is great, the directing and music and everything is really good. And there's nothing I can really say that's holding back this movie. It's just my personal preference for this kind of um, topic and what this movie explores isn't that high. So overall, I'm going to give Ford v Ferrari an 8 out of 10. And it's honestly a good movie. If you have time, go check it out. Even if you're not into cars, just be wary that it's two and a half hours long. Um, give or take a few minutes and, you know, be ready to sit through that. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and let me know down below if you are excited for this movie. Have you seen it? Are you going to see it? Do you even care about the movie? And if you have seen it, are you into cars? And do you really care about them in general, racing and everything? Because there are a lot of subtle references I'm sure I didn't understand. But there are a few that I did get. Regardless of all that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys.